Okay, everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Doodle Typewriters, and I have a really fun typewriter to look at today. This is a 1970s Adler satellite, and I gotta tell you, this one was a heap of fun to type. I'm seriously, I'm having way too much fun on this one today. Um, so this is the tutorial video. If you want to see actually the typing demo, then you can look at the product listing link that's um, down below and that'll take you to where you need to go to see that. Um, but because I like typing on it so much, I'm sure I will do a little bit of typing in this video. Okay. I do not know exactly what year it is, just that it's from the 70s. The Adlers are actually really fun typewriters to have. Um, this is our first electric that I've uh, kind of tinkered around with. So I may not get everything just right because I've never had this one, but let's take a look at it. So the carriage is massive on this thing. By the way, this thing is so heavy. Um, this is not gonna be considered a portable typewriter. You're gonna want this on a sturdy desk um, with a typewriter pad underneath. And you can get typewriter pads on our website at jotintittletypewriters.com. Um, and it's also on our Etsy shop. By the way, um, if you're looking at this video through September through December of any year, um, it's probably better to shop on our Etsy shop. We are so busy that um, we just kind of funnel all of our sales through Etsy in order to keep up with um, what's going on. Okay, um, and that link is below. Okay, so here's the carriage. Your paper is gonna go back here and then here's your margin. So you press and drag. Oh, it's so smooth. It reminds me a little bit of an Olympia, just the internal workings and then how smooth this, this is up here. This is obviously a much larger carriage. So um, great for crafters, just because you have a flexibility in paper size. And yes, you can use cardstock with typewriters. Okay, that button was for this. Hold your paper. Okay, um, carriage release. And then um, paper release, which we'll look over in a second. This kind of releases the platen, so you can hear it's not clicking. This, I like to use it if I am not if things aren't lining up just right, then I flip this forward, trying to line things up, and then re-engage. This is supposedly the line selector, um, and I couldn't tell um, if it actually was um, going one or two lines. And then if you went all the way down here, it seemed to stop the advancement of the carriage. However, down here on the right side, this also seemed to adjust um, at times the line selector. Now this isn't the, per this typewriter doesn't work perfectly. So I am not sure if, um, if this typewriter is working as it should or not, because like I said, this is our first satellite, but somehow this seems to also be adjusting the line selector, you know, where it advances one or two lines. I could be wrong on that, just so you know. Okay, let's pop open the top. And inside, this looks almost like an Olympia, but it's not. So you've got a universal ribbon and um, you have these little arms that are holding the spools down. So you'll have to flip those arms back before you remove the spools. And then make sure when you remove it, there's a guide wire here, and then, the, I'm sorry, my hands are in the way, and then those here. And um, so you wanna make sure black on top, red on bottom, and that it's threaded properly. There is an up close photo. Again, just go to that product listing link in the description below and it'll take you to the photos and you can um, bookmark it. Okay, so when you load it, you wanna get that ribbon in the guide wires and pop down all the way. There's little um, pins sticking up and you have to get one of them to go into one of these little holes. Pop, there it goes. And voila. So I am looking, there we go. There is your re ribbon reversal right here. You'll see this bar. I went and moved the bar because it looks like it's easily bendable. But if you just tap on the sides on the metal arms, 
that'll reverse the direction of your ribbon, okay? And the way you know that your ribbon needs to be reversed, this might get really tight. This might stop typing altogether, or the font's gonna get really faint, or it's just not gonna feel right. As soon as you're typing and it starts feeling odd, stop because your typewriter is telling you something. And the first thing I always check is the ribbon reversal. And the second thing I check is to make sure my color selector, which is here on the left side, is either on um, the blue which, or the red and not the white, because the white, it won't work properly, okay? White is stencil, um, you're not gonna use it. Okay, this, let me go ahead and turn it on. Here's your power switch. Uh, okay. Like I said, I don't have the proper manual, so I am not sure, but this seems to be moving what it did a minute ago. Hold on. There. This seemed to move advance forward, so it, it would like forward space. Then you have your back space, okay? You have your margin release, caps lock, tab, and your return handle. So let me just show you where to load it. You are gonna load your paper right behind this silver band bar right there. Turn the handle. Make sure the paper goes under the bar. I always like to come up, and I know it's out of the, probably out of the screen, but I like to make sure that it's even, and if not, then you use your paper release to even it up. Okay, so this, moved it forward, um, the tab set. So let me see if there's a tab, there's a tab set there. So I'm gonna see about clearing it. So you, the minus is clear, the plus is set. So I'm gonna hit the return handle and I'm gonna see if that's cleared it. So it cleared the tab just like I wanted it to. So let's find a new place to set it. Let's set it here. We're gonna hit the plus sign. I'm gonna hit the return handle and now hit the tab. Voila, so that is how you set your tabs or clear them. Um, again, this seemed to be like if I hit return handle, maybe it did it twice, I don't know. Um, I couldn't tell. Um, this must not be for that. I think this is for the line selectors. So I do not know what this is for. Sorry on that one. Like I said, this is brand new to me. I'll have to do some more research. Not sure what that is. Anyway, you know enough to use your typewriter and to use it well. And by the way, like I said, this is the... Oh, oh, hold down your key. Woohoo! Oh, let's check. I forgot to tell you about this. Let's hold down the dash. Yes! Sounds like a. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the best. The best typewriter to type with. I ended with a preposition. Not very good. Um, I, and it has, this one has that really funky um sci-fi font on it and the keyboard looks like they're early computers and um i just really had a lot of fun typing on this so i will just say this if you're looking for just a really fun outrageous typewriter this adler satellite is going to be a good typewriter for you and i can see um, you know, your nerd type guys who are into um, anime and sci-fi and Marvel, all of that, I think they would really love this kind of a typewriter. That's just my opinion. I'm into f matching personalities. I should be a typewriter matchmaker because I really enjoy that. All right, hope you found this fun and helpful and you all have a great day and happy typing.